Alright, how's it going guys? It has been a long time since I uploaded this uh, a video. Um, I do apologize. I have more responsibility um, that, I, um, that I currently had before. So um, I'm prioritizing that. But anyway, uh, that's besides the point. So in this video, um, I ran into some uh, issue with um, Warzone as usual. Um, I actually bought a new uh, 240 hertz monitor, and for some reason, um, it was forcing my PC to actually play in 144 hertz instead of uh, 240 hertz. But whenever I try and um, change the some settings, it would be all laggy and stuff like that. So I actually it took me a while. It took me like two days to actually figure out what the issue was. Um, as of right now, it's finally fixed. Um, I play in borderless. I feel like I do better with borderless, but that is a personal preference. Um, as you guys can see, my uh, screen refresh rate is 240. Before that, um, it won't let me uh, change to uh, 240, even though even if I put it on full screen, it would force me to. Uh, there wasn't even an option for two, uh, 240 hertz. It was only just a 144. So I look around in a config file and uh, I noticed something. Um, but before I can show you guys, let me minimize this. And you know how like uh, where you can find your config files like under, you know, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and then there's a subfolder called um, Players. Let's see, so documents, modern warfare, players, and report subfolders. So basically, you guys are going to see this right here. And what I did to fix it is to delete all three, like these ones right here, because these config files are actually uh, the configuration that was saved in the cloud for uh, Modern Warfare. So, you know, like when you reinstall the game, it would automatically like uh, save all your settings. So it's actually those files that was downloaded along with the game um, that is conf re uh, already configured for you, the one that you already configured before tweaking other settings. So this actually conflicts with this file right here. This is like a, a local config files uh, for Call of Duty, and especially I have a new uh, um, a new monitor. Um, it actually it's it says right here because um, all these numbers right here are encrypted, so I can't really tell you guys what it is. But on this config file, it says MSI G two seven one. But as you guys can see on my uh, display monitor, it's actually the LC27. That's my Samsung monitor. So that thing is conflicting with uh, my current current settings. And whenever I guess the game crashes, um, it would read this. It would prioritize this uh, config file that was uh, on the cloud. So. What I recommend is um, actually delete this, delete this, and then save this right here. Um, so this is just an old file, my current file, I can actually show you guys. Um, but as you guys can see, it, even on this one, it forced this one to uh, go to my other monitor, which is not good. Um, and it would cost like input delay and all that stuff. So my real, um, my current uh, config file is um, right here. Players, so as you guys can see, um, I don't have that other config files because I already deleted them. And I can double check right here. As you guys can see, it is the one that I am currently playing at, the, my new monitor, which is the 240 hertz. Um, and just in case something happens, like a new update or something, it would download those uh, files again and it would cause like other issues. 
So whenever there's an update, double check that it's not there. If it is, then um, I would say <laughs> delete them. And uh, just be sure to, you go to uh, properties and mark read only. So nothing will be changed on here. So, uh, but basically that's how I fix my uh, input lag, everything that was, uh, you know, on my previous monitor config. But yeah, well, hopefully this will help some of you out, but I would really suggest that um, you delete those files. Oh, uh, before I uh, end uh, this video, there's another thing um, under advanced or add ADV underscore options. Make sure you put this to one and save because this um this disables the cloud storage uh config and that's what's causing it to uh, download all those con config files and conflict with your other with your set with your current settings well i can't talk um but anyway guys hopefully this is helpful for you um if it did don't forget to drop a like i know i could have shortened this in like three minutes but i just want to explain it thoroughly um how to uh you know fix this issue but anyway guys thank you guys for watching as always i'll catch you guys in the next video peace